What happens when light and airy Gemini comes together with super serious Capricorn? I don't even know myself, so let's just talk about it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mina. If you don't know me, I am a professional astrologer and I love talking about astrology love compatibility with you if that's something you like smash subscribe so we can stay connected i do release weekly videos and please drop some likes on my video it helps spread the good work i'm doing and i'm forever grateful all right you guys this is a scandalous pair what happens when gemini the word magician mutable air meets with capricorn cardinal earth ruled by sirius saturn in a romantic relationship Whew, this is an interesting topic. It's complex, you guys. It's not impossible, just not very traditional. And keep in mind, this is a pure energy reading, and you really have to take the whole chart, ooh, the whole chart into consideration. So let's get into it. Let's just jump in. How can a fun-loving, witty Gemini who loves to explore everything, doesn't mind taking risks, how can they collide with very serious, sober Cap Capricorn, very calculating Capricorn, Capricorn who doesn't like to take many risks unless they are smart risk to take how can they even notice each other well you guys let's just face it gemini is a universal attractive energy they are word magicians they're witty they are mutable air ruled by mercury they can charm the pants off of anyone including prudent capricorn like they just know what you want to hear and the more of a challenge you are the more they can be like driven to want to crack you and Capricorn can re represent a big wall for them to climb over. You know, Capricorns don't really wear their heart and emotions on their faces and on, on their sleeves. Even no matter where the Capricorn placement is, there's some level of restraint, self-restraint. They're very big on that. So the Gemini could just view this as a fascinating challenge. Like, oh, I'm going to make that Capricorn smile. And I'm going to make them laugh at my naughty jokes. And this can invigorate the Gemini. Gemini likes to feel that, you know, excitement about someone and they can view the way Capricorn carries themselves and the way they speak you know it's all very curated they could kind of fall for that because they like smart people and Capricorns are smart likewise you know Capricorn can just you know they're not above falling for that Gemini charm you know they're human too they like to be flirted with and they can see the value of Gemini's intelligence especially because they're so socially intelligent and Capricorn can connect that to networking which networking is a big skill that any successful person needs they can view that as a skill they can learn from Gemini and benefit from through association with them they can have a bigger network of people because, you know, they do view themselves and other people as walking resumes. So, so they can see this quality in Gemini can enhance their resume. Because Capricorns are cardinal earth. They, they move very aggressively towards their goals that will bring them security, practically speaking, in this life. So yeah, they can see the value of each other in that way. All right, you guys, let's just get real here. Even though Gemini can see Capricorn as an amazingly fun challenge you know they want to crack that wall they want to make them laugh they want to make them enjoy life um and capricorn can see the value of gemini's social intelligence and how that could benefit their own life how they how it can increase their networking capabilities um, and skills they can see the allure here however there are complexities. I'm not even going to say what can go wrong. We're just going to dive into the complexities because this is an odd pair. Let's just get real. So a beautiful thing about Gemini is that they are whirlwinds of energy, you guys. So whatever they put their mind towards, because their mind is a highly energized place, they will have success in that. So imagine if that Gemini happened to put all of that mental energy towards career. Maybe they have Earth in their charts. This could be extremely attractive to the Capricorn because Gemini can put so much energy into that. They have the social intelligence. They can really get ahead in life in that way that Capricorn finds super sexy. And they can be a provider. They can say, hey, Capricorn, I can pay the bills. I have a nice bank account. Um, I have a nice car. Like, there's some financial stability here. There's potential for that in Gemini, depending on their chart and depending on their goals in life. And if Capricorn sees that this is a career-oriented Gemini, which would be the best situation, let's just be real, um, they would be willing to put up with a lot because 
they're ruled by Saturn. They aren't immune to restraining themselves, restraining their desires, and suffering for something that has long-term practical potential that brings them a high sense of security in life, um, practically speaking. So they could be like, hey, I'll put up with a lot that I wouldn't normally do just for you, Gemini, because you're so hardworking and I find that so attractive and you make me feel secure in that way. So I'm willing to go the distance with you. I'm willing to give you a lot of understanding. If the Capricorn is also a career focused person, that can be comforting for the Gemini because they don't like to feel weighed down. So although they could be willing to commit to Capricorn in this way, they also don't like to feel like their wings are pinned down. They prefer to have responsibility over their selves. But I'm not saying Geminis can't be a provider. I mean, my father was a Gemini, I understand, but I do think you would have to be an earthy or watery Gemini to really want to provide that to someone. I think if you're a fire or pure air Gemini, maybe that could be different, but that's just my opinion as an astrologer. So yeah, if they're meeting each other's needs, if Gemini can meet Capricorn's need for financial security and for taking life serious in a career-oriented sense, and if Capricorn can also be self-reliant and career driven, goal driven to make the Gemini feel like it's not all on them, I feel like it can work out. You know, Gemini can spice up the Capricorn's life and Capricorn can allow itself to enjoy the Gemini humor, fun, and wit because Gemini's providing for them and they can kind of exhale a little bit like, okay, this is a fun, witty person, but they also have a stable career. They're being a provider for me so I can relax a little bit. And you know, Gemini can just really appreciate how Capricorn gives them a lot of understanding and is very supportive of their career. And it's just like a big cheerleader for them in that way. It makes them feel good about themselves. You know, Gemini's like attention. They like positive reinforcement. That makes them feel really good because they have very active minds. So if they get negative thoughts in their minds, that's not coming out for a while. That can loop around for eternity. So they could both be building each other up here if things are lining up in terms of their goals and ambitions and their other stuff going on in their charts. So yeah, it can take a nosedive though if Gemini feels too bogged down with responsibility because Capricorn does feel like, hey, relationships are responsibility. They have a very sober, practical, realistic view of life and they're not afraid of suffering for that. But Gemini doesn't like to suffer. They like to feel free. They like to have wings and they like to stretch them out and fly wherever they want. They they need the illusion of freedom at least, you guys. So if they can support Capricorn and be loyal in that way, but there has to be some give and take here. They have to have a sense of freedom in some area of their life or they will feel very unhappy and sad and not in a good place. Um, but also, I do think that Gemini in some ways can be a little bit more understanding than the Capricorn in a, this situation because Gemini is okay with life's ups and downs. Like it doesn't necessarily like them, but Gemini energy in general is not gonna stress out coming up with future solutions for future problems because that just, their minds are already busy and they don't wanna stress themselves out before something happens. Whereas Capricorn functions that way. They're always stressing themselves out and creating future plans to prevent disasters. That's how they function. So Gemini is cool ebbing and flowing because they have a lot of mental confidence and they are like, hey, life has challenges, ups and downs, and that's just another puzzle for me to solve. I'm totally cool. I'll get it done. I will solve the puzzles as they happen, as they happen, keyword. This could stress Capricorn out because although Gemini can be very successful and reliable in this way, I mean, it's just not how Capricorn functions. And for that reason, you know, Gemini could be more understanding when Capricorn has ups and downs in life. Like maybe Capricorn um, loses their job and Gemini has to carry a bigger load as long as Gemini feels like it's not forever, they're like, you know, this happens, life happens, you know, Capricorn's hardworking, they're going to get another job, and that's cool, you know, I can deal with this low in life because life is full of highs and lows and I won't dwell on it. Um, whereas Capricorn, you know, the dark side of Capricorn is that if there's another financial option, if there's not a deep emotional bond between them and the other person and they aren't Saturn glued in that way in terms of, you know, true forever dedication responsibility to the Gemini. 
if there's a better financial offer, if there's another partner willing to support them at an even higher level and offer them more stability, they can leave the Gemini. You know, they could say, hmm, well, a better offer was here and I'm taking it because I need that financial security in life. And, you know, that is kind of the dark side of Capricorn. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just reality, you guys. You know, if they feel there's a better option in that way, they will take it unless there's a deep emotional bond here, which can really hurt the Gemini. You know, they have hearts too. So, yes, I think that this pair could work, but I can't deny that it's complex. I think it's ideal if the Gemini has some earth and water in their chart. That way they can, you know, mesh with the Capricorn a little bit better. They could be more career focused and be more emotionally dedicated. And, you know, likewise Capricorn, I kind of think that they would need some water too and some fire, something to spice things up because they can be a little bit on the prudent not risk-taking side which could bore the Gemini eventually so yeah I think it could work it just needs like the right things to align for it to work the best but ideally I do think they can push each other like Gemini can make Capricorn live a little bit and be okay with like fixing things on the fly maybe they can develop some trust for the Gemini in this way and chill out and Gemini you know can learn from Capricorn how to be a little bit more serious sometimes and to maybe consider making future solutions for future disasters like maybe being okay with that sometimes I don't know but or maybe being okay with things being not so exciting sometimes I you guys this is just complex yes this pair is complex and there's many challenges there's many complexities but when there's love it's always possible to make things work out you guys but you know this has me a little stumped. I would love to hear your experiences with Capricorn Gemini um, relationships. Leave them in the comments and I will definitely read them. And also I will be putting up a new poll soon asking you what videos you want next in terms of love compatibility. So stay tuned for that. I will see you in the next one. Bye!